Today we're taking a look at a problem that a lot of photographers have in post-production, and it involves white balance when it comes to portraiture, and specifically sometimes there are situations where you don't always have the luxury of having a backdrop that really separates with skin tonality. Now, if you study portrait photography, you'll learn that there are a lot of photographers who like to separate the skin tone, the background, and then also the wardrobe from one another. So how do you do that? And to do that, we're actually looking at this in Capture 120. So let's take a look. Here is an image that I edited, and to show you what I did, I'm going to completely reset what I did. Cool, that's the photo. So first off, over here, notice how I made my Capture 120 look like Lightroom. It's because it's just easier for me still, and it's the way I like things, and my right eye is actually stronger than my left, so helps out quite a bit. We're going to go to the generic lens correction right now because this Leica 50mm 1.4 is not categorized by Capture One, unfortunately. So now we've corrected the... Uh, lens distortion. And a tip that I really like to do is, uh, a lot of folks don't actually do this. You have this tool right up here. And usually people would say, oh, I'm going to pick my white balance, just like that. So I'm going to white balance off of all these things and say, hey, that's what I want to do. I want to white balance off the skin. No, I don't really like doing that. So instead, now I'm going to apply that again. I didn't really have to do that, but I did. Just showing you folks a few things. So I'm going to click on Apply Normalization. So I do that, and I will normalize based on the color of his skin. And there you go. I immediately get a much more workable image. You see the background is pretty well separated from his skin tonality. You have a gray hat there. Actually, that's my personal hat. And you have his wardrobe, which also stands out. So now, how do we work with this even more? There are two different ways. Um, in this panel right here, you can say linear response and then start editing, or you can work with high contrast or film standard. I personally like film standard, so I'm going to work with that right there. And now, just like I usually done in Lightroom many years ago, I'm going to work specifically with color channels. So his outfit is in the blues. So let's take a look what happens when I mess with the hues of the blues. Uh, this area becomes a little bit more saturated and also changes a tad. So I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to do that even more. And now he is really starting to pop out. Well, his wardrobe is rather. Now, this should be editing the background. Yeah, see what happens when I change the hue? It goes from, like, green to orange and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put it more on the green side. I'm going to saturate that, and I'm also going to brighten it quite a bit. Something else that I also like doing here that I remember now is light fall off. So I will get rid of extra light fall off, and now he's separated even more from the background. This is going to be associated with his skin tonality, and you'll see that when I mess with the saturation. See what happens to his hands? I really don't want that. It's kind of disgusting. So let's do this. Mess with his skin just a little bit. Actually, yeah. See what it's doing with his skin? He becomes more like purplish. And right there, he becomes a little bit more normalized. So let's do that. And then let's also brighten his skin a bit. Because we know a lot of people like to do that. And from there, we can make our basic adjustments. So I'm going to make the contrast go up a little bit. Brighten. Actually, no, not brighten it. Darken it a bit. And I'm going to add a little bit more drama. Just a tad bit more. Uh, shadows, I'm going to raise that up a bit. Of course, you see that I'm clipping. So I'm going to... Remove that a bit. I'm okay with a little bit of clipping. I mean, not every portrait, not every image needs to be in HDR, so whatever. Natural. Um, do I really want natural here? I sort of want classic more. Cool. 
So now there, we have an image that is really popping versus that. See the difference? He doesn't really stand out from the background as much as he does there. And that's how you make a portrait subject really stand out from the background. And again, the key here is apply normalization. Now, if I want to apply this to all of the images in the series, which I can do right now, I'll just select these very quickly. I will say copy and apply adjustments and it will do that to all of the images in this series. And now, our friend here stands out a lot more from the background. I'm gonna kill the exposure on that just a bit. This one, probably a little bit too there. Kill the highlights maybe a little bit more there. Yeah, but as you see, he's standing out a lot more from the background than for example, let's uh, reset this. So that's the original image, and that's the edited image. Pretty cool, right? Check out more on thephoblographer.com. We've got a lot of great reviews there, and also a lot of great tutorials just like this. Take care, folks.